Hey everybody, it's John here from VidGamiac.com. Here we are today back in Goat Simulator, grabbing the Try Hard Achievement. This is to find all of the goat trophies in Goatville. What you want to do is you want to have these modifiers turned on Angel Goat and Double Jump. Just as always, this makes navigating things super duper easy. From the starting area, what you want to do is you want to head straight and go to this tower. You want to go to the first floor, knock that goat out, and grab the first trophy behind him. Climb all the way to the top. This is where we got the Queen Goat achievement as well as the Mutator. So go inside and you should be in the throne room. Once you're inside, what you want to do is you want to open up the door and then head to the left. There should be these crates right here, and behind said crates will be another trophy. So grab that and then jump onto the throne to transport yourself back, or you can hit start and respawn. Up to you, it's the same thing. It sends you back to the beginning area. But regardless on how you get back, you want to turn around and you want to head towards the castle again and then this time you want to go to the right of the tower there should be this building right here it's like a small house basically there should be an air conditioning unit on top of it and next to said air conditioning unit should be your third trophy hop into the air conditioning unit and take it up you want to try to aim for the power lines you want to go to the power lines on the right it is the first one on the right there will be a trophy there it's a little hard to see so you want to kind of angle it right this and then you should see the yellow and that's when you know you're in the right place. Try to land on the power line. It's a little hard because it's a thin power line, but make sure you grab it. Then what you want to do is you want to jump straight down back into the air conditioning unit, and you want to take it up. This time you want to aim for the tower, so point the camera like this and try to get up there. It might take a few bounces, but with the angel go ability, you can float over there if you get the height right. You want to land at the apex of the tower right here, and you should get another trophy. Now we're going to float across the street and head towards the housing areas. You want to go to this house. It's the one next to the wall right here. The one without a chimney. It looks like a shed, basically. And the red car is parked outside. There will be a um, trophy between the house and the wall right here. What you want to do now, you want to jump on top of the wall and then go towards the greenhouse right here. You want to break the greenhouse open. And there should be a trophy right next to this little tree. Make sure you grab that. Leave the greenhouse by smashing the window and head over here. You want to go behind the red house, behind the picnic, and head up towards the boulder of death, which we use for two achievements. But you want to go past it, and behind it will be your next trophy. And you can hit the boulder for fun if you want to, to ruin the picnic. And you should get an achievement if you haven't gotten it already, so keep that in mind. Head over here and head towards the swimming pool. The wall holding the swimming pool will be a, uh, another area where you can find a trophy. There we go, 9 out of 30. Jump up and head towards the diving tower. You can either use the trampoline to get up or you can take the stairs. And you can take this all the way to the top to try to get to the trophy. It's all the way at the top. Once again, both ways are viable. But using the stairs is a little tricky because the goat has... Um, trouble taking sharp turns obviously grab the trophy and then make your way across the pool you want to head towards this house right here and I believe this is a school you want to go into the uh, bell tower right here and grab the next trophy right there and now we're gonna jump out and head towards the construction area you want to jump and take the ladder all the way up to the crane and you probably already got this trophy if you got the um, Goat of the Hill achievement, which requires you to go to the highest place in the map, which is all the way on top of the crane. So I'm just going to speed this up just for the sake of brevity. So you want to take the ladder all the way up and then take the sideways bit right here and then jump. Then you want to hit slow motion to try to scale this um, wire right here. Take it to the top and grab your trophy. Then what you want to do is you want to gently float down. You want to land on this part of the crane. So you're still on the crane and then you want to go, once again, to the sideways bit. And then you want to aim for that shipping container where we found the robot in order to get the Sanctum 3 achievement. You want to float down there and try to land either on the shipping container or in the shipping container, which is where the trophy is. You can use your Angel Goat powers to try to slow your descent and try to land inside the shipping container where the robot and the trophy um, reside. So grab the trophy and you can get the robot if you want to or you can punch him out to the window and then we're gonna float 
to the top of the construction site, there should be this white platform right here. Make sure you jump on top of it and grab the next trophy. And that will knock another one out of the way. Now we're going to go all the way down to the ground level. Careful not to hit the explosive canisters. And you want to float towards this blue shipping container that's open. And inside will be another trophy. And this will be 15 out of 30. This is the halfway point. There we go. And now we can move on. What you want to do next is you want to cross the street and head into the um, gas station. You want to go into the self-service garage right here. And inside will be another trophy. And there we go. Now what you want to do is you want to head down the street. We're going to go to the gravity factory. And it's right next door to the gas station. What you want to do is you want to jump the fence. And then there should be this brown... A uh, part of metal sheeting you can actually break that and head into the factory So break that by ramming into it with right trigger and you should have some half pipes right here Basically you want to make it to the other side of this half pipe right here You can try to float up there, and this is why we have double jump just to make this a lot easier So try to get up here you want to be on this part this walkway basically line yourself up here and try to make this jump right here It's kind of hard because the rafters are in the way, but you want to make your way up here um, you want to stay to the right where you have another walkway, and you want to make your way all the way to the back wall where another trophy is. Careful not to fall, because it is easy to fall over here. That's why we took the far right way. So grab the trophy, and then jump down to the floor right here. There should be this pit of air conditioning units, or fans. You want to try to get into this air conditioning duct right here and try to line yourself where you're in the middle. And this thing will shoot you up super fast, but if you slow down enough, you can actually grab the trophy on your way out. If you miss it, you have to go all the way back, which is kind of a pain. I did, I missed it a lot um, trying to get it, but uh, there you go. And then, wherever you land, you want to make your way back to the construction area, basically. And you want to jump up here, and then you want to go to the roof of the gravity factory. So you can take this air conditioning unit all the way up, and then use the angel goat powers to float there. And that will make things a hell of a lot easier. You have these turbines on top right here. You want to go to the upper left one while going towards it. And over there will be a, another trophy. This one's also pretty hard to get because it is in the middle of the turbine blades. And you have to time your landing right just to get it. Once again, I recommend having angel goat powers for this because you can gently float in and try to grab it. If you get knocked off the roof, you're going to have to try to take the air conditioning unit back up here. Which, once again, is a huge hassle. Leave the factory by leaving on this side facing the cornfield. You want to stay on the left, there should be like this nuclear bomb um, shelter right here. It's basically a giant hole in the ground made of concrete. And before going in the hole, there should be a trophy in there. Don't go in the hole, by the way. I don't know what's down there, and I wouldn't risk it. So grab the trophy next to it, and then you want to stay to the left. And before this tower right here, there is a dirt uh, trail right here. You want to take a left, there should be some farming equipment right here. But behind said farming equipment will be a meadow area with another trophy. There we go, and now we're going to go over here. This is next to the area we fought the goats in that achievement, the Alexander Goffinson achievement or something. But to the left of that will be the next trophy. After that, we're going to go past that and then take the dirt trail down, or we could fly, thanks to the power of Angel Goat. And we're going to make our way all the way back to the foresty area. So we're going to go underneath the tower and then take this dirt trail down and then head over here. You're basically heading to the place where we got the Sanctum 3 achievement as well as the Devil Goat achievement. You want to take that dirt trail up and instead of heading down the torch way, you want to turn towards the tower. And underneath the tower will be your next trophy. There it is. And now we're going to jump down and then head back towards the pool. You want to go underneath the water slide, and underneath there will be another trophy. So use your angel goat powers to save yourself time, and just fly over there. And we're going to look underneath the water slide right here for our trophy. It's going to be right here, and just grab it. A little hard to see, but it's there. Trust me, there it is. And now we're going to head all the way back to... The housing area again so we're gonna jump across jump on the school and then jump over here and now we're going to jump down here and then float 
across the cornfield again, there should be this lone tree right here. And underneath this tree in the middle of nowhere will be your next trophy on the right hand side. So make sure you grab that. And now we're going to go all the way back over here. This is between the crop circles and the goat fighting ring. There should be like this abandoned shack right here. Next to it should be another trophy. And we're going to grab it. And now we're going to head back to the housing area. And you want to make your way towards the developer's office. There should be a developer's office um, over there. It's a house that says Coffee Stain Studios, which is the company that made this game. Pretty uh, cool inclusion. But it's going to be over here. It's towards the back. And it's past this house. And it's right here. There's a sign in case you get lost. You want to go inside their offices and head towards the second floor. Or you could break through the window if you're adventurous. But we're going to take the uh, old-fashioned route right here. And I'm going to go upstairs. You're going to see this dancing guy. This is where we got the Flappy Goat achievement. That was a hassle. But take a right and head into this office right here. And then you want to go into the closet. And in the closet will be another goat statue. And that's 27 out of 30. 90% of the way there. Only three left. And we're going to make our way back out the house. And now you want to go on the roof of the developer's house. So you can jump on the garage and then jump all the way on the roof. Go to the chimney and on here will be your next statue. And then you want to float down into the plaza area where the protest people are. Who are protesting pointy foods or some nonsense like that. But behind the stage will be another trophy. So make sure you grab that. There we go, 29 out of 30, one left to go. Now you want to make your way all the way back to the starting area. There should be a house behind you, which is the starting house. You want to go in there and then go up to the second floor. And in the second floor will be your next trophy. So go in here, take the stairs up. And then from the second floor, you want to take a right and go into this room. And then you want to look in the closet and grab your trophy. There we go, 30 out of 30. That's all for the first map. Check back soon for the second map. And there's our achievement 30 gamer score. And that's all there is to it.